Holmes, criminal psychologist. Good evening to you. Um, Good evening. We've been showing our viewers, and I know you've seen it, this extraordinary video released by police of her arrest. And um, we're going to show uh, our viewers pictures of it while we discuss this as well. I mean, it, the, I think the most extraordinary thing that struck me is how ready she was to share the information. Is that a part of, perhaps, people who carry out these kind of crimes, uh, that they want people to know exactly that they did it and how they did it? Um, no, it's not that common. Um, most of them want to keep covering up and keep kind of saying, well, you know, I, I didn't really do it or I did it by accident. Um, this is someone who is very controlled, um, somewhat obsessive, um, but also is showing those cool, callous traits which can emanate from autism, psychopathy, which pre-exist. They've been there all this lady's life. Um, so, you know, she could have done things in the past uh, we don't know about. However, that cool, calm exterior is a product of her indifference to the humanity that she destroyed. Yeah, yes, uh, uh, undoubtedly. And, and the uh, grim detail with which she accounted and, and wanted to volunteer about what she had done. What, what do you make of, what else do you make of what she had to say and share with the police? How she conducted herself? It, it was interesting, you know, there was, there was very frivolous moments like, can I tie my hair back? Can I have a hairband? Oh, by the way, I need to tell you about what's in a wardrobe. Yes, it's, it's, it's complete indifference to human life and suffering. Um, pointing towards herself quite a lot. She was fairly obsessively controlling uh, the interview with the police, uh, correcting them, um, you know, trying to get detail right, um, which seemed to her to be more important than the fact that she'd been living with the corpses of her parents for four years. Yeah, that, that's uh, actually what I was trying to get at earlier. It was, to me, almost like uh, she wanted the notoriety or, or, but your analysis is that she, she just didn't really care but wants to make sure they get the detail right. Is that a, a narcissistic trait, perhaps? I think it's narcissistic. Um, I think it's a, a very much a psychopathic trait. Um, it's, it's a trait that also shows OCD, you know, obsessive, obsession, um, where, where she wants to kind of control every aspect. Um, but she's not emotionally involved. It's, it's a complete absence of emotional involvement. Uh, this wasn't an, a killing in anger. Um, she, she wasn't in hatred of her parents. She had nothing particularly against her parents. In fact, she quite liked them. Um, but they just got in the way of her finances, the debts, um, you know, they just getting in her way and they had to go. And that was it. That's, that's as much motivation as she needed um, to kill her parents uh, and, you know, bury them in the house, basically, um, um, while she, she carried on living and carried on spending what was left of their money. Yeah, living with them in the house, their, their bodies. Um, uh, briefly, um, uh, Dr Holmes, how, uh, how, at what point does a criminal psychologist get involved in a case like this? Is it quite early on? It should really be very early on um, to stop the case going the, the wrong way, as it were. Um, the, the, to try and have this person break down in tears and, you know, um, be, be genuinely emotional about the loss of the parents. Um, if she broke down in tears in court, in this case, it would probably be a case of feeling sorry for herself or a, a kind of tearful moment for the last glimpse of her mother um, before she battered and stabbed her. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a case of... Um, that knowing that this indifference is there prior to these six circumstances arising uh, and knowing that this person carries with them that potential, that danger um, throughout life that they could at any point dismiss another human being purely and simply because they got in her way. OK, Dr David Holmes, thanks very much indeed for your insight and analysis. Thank you.